Question number five says a meter stick is found to balance at the 49.7 centimeter mark when placed on a fulcrum. When a 61 gram mass is attached at the 12 centimeter mark, the fulcrum must be moved to the 39.2 mark, centimeter mark for balance. What is the mass of the meter stick? Okay, so what we have here, let's imagine right now that this, this weight is not attached yet. So it's not attached yet. What we have here is that at this point, this thing is balanced and it's at 49.7 centimeters. And what that means is the full mass of this meter stick is concentrated right here. And so it doesn't, um, it doesn't have uh, more mass on this side. It doesn't have more mass on that side. And so what it's saying is that the, the center of gravity, the center of mass is right there. And so whenever the mass of this is exerted on something, it is exerted at that point. Uh, and so then we add this, this weight over here, which is 61 grams. And so when we add the weight of 61 grams, we have to move our fulcrum we have to move our fulcrum to 39.2. So this spot is 39.2. And and this is hung, this this is hung at 12 centimeters. And so now we have to figure out what the mass of the ruler is, what the mass of this meter stick is. And so what we what we do is uh, whenever something is balanced, we say that the torque 1 equals torque 2. And so now we can just say that, well, what is torque? Torque is force times times the radius, or times the moment, or the, the length of the moment arm. So the length of this arm, uh, let's say from 12 to 39.2, we want to find the torque of, of this point right here. So the, the moment arm length, or the radius, is 39.2 minus 12. Th this is, this is 27.2 centimeters. So we can say that R1, we'll call that R1, equals 27.2 centimeters. So the force times the radius. The force, we can break that down even further. So force equals mass times acceleration, so times radius, this is our formula for torque. Torque equals mass times acceleration times radius. And so what we have is we have a series of M1s, R1s, M2, R2. And, that, and because mass or acceleration is the same for all of them, the acceleration of gravity is 9.8 on everything because we're close to the surface of the Earth. So we would say that uh, instead of saying torque one equals torque two, we'd say m one a or we we can yeah m one times acceleration times r one equals m two times acceleration times r two, and you'll see if we divide by acceleration, it, it actually cancels itself out on both sides, so it doesn't move over. So we get an equation where m one r one equals m two r two. And as long as all of our units are the same, we don't have to convert out of centimeters. We don't have to convert out of out of grams. We can just stay and keep everything uniform. And so let's write down what everything is. M1 was 61 grams, and we're talking about the mass that's hung at 12 centimeter at the 12 centimeter mark. And its its radius we said was 27.2 centimeters. 27.2 centimeters. And so then we have an M2, which we don't know. We're trying to find what the, the mass of this meter stick is. We have an R2. So we said that this was the center of gravity at 49.7. So whenever we calculate this, we're going to pretend like, like we have this meter stick here. And even though the fulcrum is right here, all of the mass is being exerted in the same place where the center of gravity is. So the full mass is exerted there. So what's the distance between here and here? So 39.2 to 49.7 is 10.5 centimeters. So we say that R2 is 10.5 centimeters. So we can set this up now to say that 61 times 27.2 equals m2 times 10.5. So we simplify 
we get 1659.2 equals m2 times 10.5. Then we can divide both sides by 10 and we will get our answer for m2. So I divide by 10.5 and you get that m2 equals 158.01 uh, 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 gr uh, grams. So we're talking about grams, the mass in grams. And that's the answer.